Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, and a bit of a different video today. You can see we got the fine China out, the beautiful MetaZoo mat. Our uh, locals is uh, liquidating their MetaZoo stuff, so, <laughs> you know, I, I think this is going to be really fun to play on, ironically. Anyway, I want to talk a little bit about a, a tweet that I posted like a year ago. Uh, so if you remember a year ago, um, I was whining about uh, the fact that we couldn't find the Grinch anywhere. It was like Christmas time and we wanted to watch Jim Carrey's The Grinch. I have the same streaming setup as everyone else, I feel like. is uh, You know, I got Netflix from an ex-girlfriend that like forgot to change her password five years ago. I share a Disney Plus account with like two or three hundred people, right? And so we're just going through all these and we can't find Jim Carrey's The Grinch anywhere. We find out it's on Amazon Prime Video. I go, oh, well, great. I have Amazon Prime. Should be easy to get. Wrong. No. By virtue of having Amazon Prime, all we get is the ability to rent Jim Carrey's The Grinch. 2001 movie, Jim Carrey's The Grinch. Rent for $4. We can watch it over the course of a weekend in standard definition. Or $10 for high def. And this made me want to put my fist through a wall and my brother was there at the time and remembered how upset I was about this. And so he got me a DVD of, of Jim Carrey's The Grinch uh, this year. And we didn't have a DVD player. I went to Goodwill. I got one for $9. They didn't have the remote. And I was like, oh my God, you know, how are we going to use it? Well, it turns out that any Samsung remote can be used as any DVD remote. So we popped it in. And I got to say, I was just really taken aback by how easy the process was. I didn't have to enter in credit card information on like a TV that also has a small computer in it so it can go online. I didn't have to wait for loading times. I didn't have to like go online and Google where is this stupid fucking movie at. And so, you know, I said, you know, let's just get some DVDs. I made a tweet about a year ago that was like, if I was to get some DVDs, like 50 DVDs, what would be like the, the best 50 DVDs I could get for a collection? People gave me some answers, but uh, one person said, just go to Goodwill and pick up what they have there. And, you know, I, I, I go to Goodwill a lot, so I was like, I don't know, I guess. So today, I made a point to check out their DVD stuff. Holy shit. All right. So, uh, to, to the point, why am I making this video? I'm making this video to brag. I'm going to show you this, this fucking haul I got from Goodwill. This was, by the way, this was about $80. This was one, one bonfire. This is what I got from Goodwill, okay? Here are the DVDs that I was able to find at my Goodwill. Here we got... We got all the Shreks, except for the fourth Shrek, which, you know, I'm not too beat up about not having. We got Madagascar. We got both Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs movies. We got, you know, if you thought DreamWorks was it, we got Disney shit. We got Lilo and Stitch. We got The Incredibles. We got Lion King. We got Lion King 2. You know what else we got? We got fucking Lion King 1 and a half. We got High School Musical in here. What else do we have? What else do we get? We were able to get Austin Powers 1, Austin Powers 2. We were able to get Kick-Ass. I've never watched Kick-Ass, but hey, it was, it was $1.50, so why not? We got Twister. We got Catch Me If You Can. We got we got Castaway. Uh, we got a bunch of musicals. We got Moulin Rouge. We got Hairspray. We got West Side Story. Ten Academy Awards on West Side Story. We with Christmas stuff. You Grinch Part Two. We got Miracle. You know we got Elf. We got Home Alone. What what else? We got uh we got a bunch of <laughs> I don't know about these ones. Uh, oh, we did musicals. We got Chicago. We got uh the second and third Matrix. I just gotta find the first Matrix. I, I'll fig I'll figure it out. We got Monsters University. This it says five fifty. It was not five fifty. It was a dollar fifty. What else we got? We got the first. We got the first five Harry Potters. We got the first five Harry Potters on DVD. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three. I didn't want to get Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two because what? What if I don't like? They don't have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two. What if something happens that I'm not going to be able to follow Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three? What if Donatello gets LASIK? What do we got? We got every terrible comedy from like the early two thousands. We got The Hangover. We got Super Bad. We got Talladega Nights. The Ballad of Ricky Bobby. But if you thought we were stopping 2000, we got the late 90s ones too. We got Wedding Crashers. We got Meet the Parents. We got the 40 year old version. You thought we were stopping in the early 90s. We got the teens as well. We got Pixels. Pixels, one of the greatest movies of all time to get blackout drunk to. It's terrible. This, this 40 year old version, by the way, owned by a man named Ted. And guess what? I also own Ted. Ted was there too. This, again, this was like, this was like $80. Like this is unthinkable, right? Like, it it feel it feels like I'm scamming someone. Like I feel like I feel like I shouldn't be getting away with this. This is to say, uh, go to your local thrift store and see what they've got in their fucking DVD section because apparently, what they have is like every memorable movie from the last 15 to 20 years. I'm not gonna pretend like there's high cinema in here. Most of this shit is movies for children. But now, if I want to watch. Fucking Will Ferrell make an ass of himself come Christmas. 
Not only will I be able to just pop an elf, I will have another option to do so by popping in Talladega Knights. This, this shit is crazy. I, uh, I don't know. That's, that's all I had to say. I wanted to kind of brag a little bit, but I also wanted to be like, God, streaming is so fucking stupid. So goddamn dumb that we were all like, yeah, I'll pay $100 a year to Netflix uh, so that I can watch the eight worst movies I've ever seen and then scrounge around on Amazon and buy the fucking movie that I have a streaming service to be able to watch at any time for free. Uh, okay. Goodbye.